How's it going guys? Alex here. Welcome back to another Doken Battle video and it's been such a long time since I've made a video like this. Of course, it is a 15 minute Doken event challenge. It's pretty straightforward. I use my team to try to take out as many events as I can in 15 minutes. I can stop the timer between the events, of course. So super excited to try this out with this team in particular because this is basically a new generation of leads. So just curious to see how well it performs, of course. But I hope you guys are having a great day as always. And if you do enjoy today's video, consider leaving a like and subscribing if you are you know you know let's go ahead and jump straight into it with the ultimate gohan event's gonna go my way um down to super saiyan 4 gogeta and just go from there i'm super excited and let me know which team you want to see next just you know comment with the most likes is the team that i'm going to be doing next and i believe that nano actually has a 100 super saiyan 4 gogeta but i do not know if he is running him i believe that's talons so i'm gonna try my very best to find one of course and is that one good? Okay, that one has several. Okay, so I can't use any support items. Just going to go ahead. Well, I can use support items. I just can't use any attack increasing items. Basically, this is a team that I am going to be running. Let's go ahead and just get things started. Of course, I'll start the timer as soon as I press the first orb. For now, this is what we are going with. And we have a somewhat decent starting rotation. It's not too bad. Of course, we do have Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. And... The um, Super Gogeta, not Super, Super Gogeta, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta after that. But the problem is we have the Super Gogeta in the third slot. So, hmm, I mean, it's not too bad because I do have Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and Super Saiyan, not Super Saiyan. Well, I do have Super Saiyan Gotenks in the second rotation as well as the base Gotenks who is now at Super Attack 10. But the problem is he isn't going to be providing that much damage in comparison to Super Gogeta. So, we're going to try to get the rotations that I want as fast as I can. And for that particular reason... I'm going to go ahead and actually place the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks in the last slot. But to get things started. Okay, let's go ahead and get things started. So, three, two, one, and let's go. And I remember the very first video that I made like this. And it was actually one that included my tech time team, if I'm not mistaken. It was just such a fun video to make because I've never really done anything like that before. So, I'm curious to see how well this team in particular performs just because it's just, like, super broken. Of course, you have the half-breed Saiyan team as well, which is now the, you know, most damaging team in the game if you have all the LRs. So, that is going to be a number exciting team to use. And no one-shot here. We can we get a crit of the Gotenks? To be fair, staying on this particular stage one turn longer wouldn't be too bad because we, you know, we have an additional turn to get rotation that we want. And it does seem like we're going to stay here. Okay, fair enough. 100k, that's the problem with this event in particular. Actually, this was actually a blessing in disguise because next turn, we are going to have Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and Super Gogeta. And then we're going to have, in the turn after, of course, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and the physical Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. So that is what we want. And of course, during the last stage, we may have a few problems with the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks just because he does have a massive type disadvantage. But if you can get a crit, it's not going to be too bad. And we are currently one minute into this. And I'm hoping this is going to be as hyped as some of my other ones. So far, um, not too intense, but I would imagine that later on it's going to be like unreal to just keep up with the pacing of, not the pacing necessarily, but some of the events because of how long they can be. And of course, um, this stage does have four different stages, or this event, I should say, has four different stages. But here we go. Gogeta, please come in clutch. I picked you. You were the chosen one for the first event. Well, this one in particular, I could have just picked any other Super Saiyan for Gogeta, but this one was very good. Okay, what about my Go uh, Gogeta? He rarely gets an additional attack, but okay, he doesn't even need it. He doesn't even need it. Now we are on the tech stage, if I'm not mistaken, and there we go. So, of course, the um, Super Saiyan Gogeta... I'm just going to call him... I'm going to switch between Super Saiyan Gogeta and Super Saiyan... Um, Super Gogeta, just because I get confused with Super Saiyan 4 and Super Gogeta, so I do apologize. But yeah, um, he would have been super useful for this stage in particular, but I believe in the Gotenks. I remember how hard I went for him, and I just managed to pull him so easily on Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta's banner. Just like, wow, I could have just saved a ton of stones and money, but you know what? It's fine. That, that's kind of why I've, like, just stopped summoning as much as I used to, and I'm basically just waiting for certain banners to come out, so I can go ahead and summon there. But come on. Okay, no crit there, but we still are going to get a decent amount of damage in. And this is kind of bad, because that means that I'm going to have this rotation in particular for the last stage. Could be worse, but it's not great by any means. But at least Gogeta is going to one-shot him here. And the thing is, we have the good one here. Okay, my Gotenks needs to come in clutch. And as long as we beat this particular event for the four-minute mark, I think we are fine. Even four and a half minutes will be fine, because we will still have another... 10 and a half minutes after that. But there we go. One shot. Still no additionals, but not like we've had the chance to get any additionals, of course. 
Okay, now this is where we are definitely going to encounter a few problems. So you know what? I'm going to go ahead and actually usher. And of course, using these items is wasting a bit of time, but I can't help it. And I'm going to try to avoid super attacking. Okay, never mind. I was about to say I'm going to try to avoid super attacking Virus, but it's just basically impossible because of how many orbs are in play, as well as the Feast Fighter Link. But come and go, tanks. I believe in you. Come on, show us what you are made of. And come on. Oh, 277k. Yeah, he is definitely a liability on this stage in particular. Off of that, it wouldn't be that much of a problem because, of course, we have Super Saiyan for Gogeta, who is pretty straightforward. Nothing crazy there. Two tech type stages, and of course, a few sta um, first few STR and agility. So it's not too bad. Come on. Let's speed it up. That's what. That's like, that was why I wanted to avoid a super attack there. Let's get the debuff in with Gogeta here. I. I'm going to try my very best to avoid a super attack with Gotenks, and I think we should be fine. I did want to use an Icarus there just to, you know, decrease the amount of damage that we take in, but Gogeta is going to lower defense here, or, and lower attack. No, I think, yeah, he does lower attack in defense, so he's going to do both here. Of course, the lowering attack is going to be more important in this particular situation. We are going to have Super Saiyan for Gogeta, raise his own defense as well, and hopefully, he is going to get a counter in here if we do, get, in fact, get super attack. I was kind of hoping... That the super attack would have been there, but he is definitely going to super attack. Go tanks, and there it is. So we are coming up on the four and a half minute mark. So you can definitely see how long these events are getting, especially with a team like this. 139k. Okay, for oh boy. Okay, that is quite a significant amount of damage, but still no crits from the Gogetas, man. It's like it's kind of expecting them to go off a bit more, especially because they have level, like, you know, level 20 crit. In before my one gets. A crit before the other one, and we are very close to the five minute mark here. Come on, and I really want to pause it, and there it is. So, four minutes and 46 seconds, a bit longer than you know, anticipated. That mostly comes down to the fact that we didn't have any crits with you know, Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks or the um, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, and it's kind of annoying because my Gogeta got a crit, my Super Gogeta that is, and he legit has like level six crit or so, which is a bit of a shame. But of course, moving on to the next event, and I will see you guys there. Okay, here we go. Now on the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta events, we have 10 minutes and 14 seconds. There's still quite a bit of time left, but if every single event takes as long as the Ultimate Gohan one, we could definitely, I mean, we don't have a particular goal in mind, but I would imagine that, like, off the top of my head, if I had to set one, it would probably be five events at the very least. So let's see if we can get that to happen. And we have perfect rotations. Now, can we just, like, get super lucky with some of the potential system buffs, of course? But let's start in three, two, one, let's go. Right, it's time to take out this first stage, and we should have no problems taking it out. And, of course, we'll put Gogeta in the first slot, just in case Super Saiyan 4 Goku does, in fact, counter. My Gogeta is... Oh, I'm going to get confused. My Super Gogeta, I should say, should be able to one-shot this if Super Saiyan 4 doesn't. And... Will he? I'm actually not so certain now. He does have the effectiveness against all types, but is it going to be enough? Okay, it... Okay, yeah, just... Oh, stupid broken. His card is actually insane. And again, I'm going to put him there. Really, like, really, really, really need a potential system to just happen here. If he can super attack Super Saiyan for Gogeta, that would be great. Of course he doesn't. Just please have... Like, just something happened. I don't think this, uh, think this Gogeta has too many potential system buffs because in comparison to the last one his attack stat is a bit lower additional oh no that is bad that is very bad unless gotenks can get an additional crit or something but he should be taken care of hello come on get a crit oh wow did i just predict the future there <laughs> what just happened okay i will take it i will definitely take that i can't believe it i'm legit in shock like, what are the chances of me saying it and it actually happening? Wow, that was insane. Okay, now, Super Gogeta, you did not get um, get that additional attack to happen too frequently, but if it could happen at any time, it has to be now. Okay, never mind. Oh, uh, come on. I'm gonna waste a bit of time here. To be fair, that actually isn't too bad because then I can have the Super Gogeta and Super Saiyan 4 in the last, uh, you know, turn, if that makes any sense. They are basically deciding rotation for the last stage. And we aren't too far into this. Well, we are pretty far into this event. What I meant to say is that we aren't, like, time-wise, we aren't too far into it. Oh, dear. I was about to say, did I not just seal with super attack? And I remembered that you can't seal him, of course. So you're pretty much useless there. Okay, come on. 
Trying to tap as fast as I can, and if Bando can mess up a bit more and just get rid of, you know, the super attack animations for certain units, that would be great. Come on. Let's see what you can do here. I really should have picked one with a few potential system buffs. I mean, yeah, actually coming up in the time that we had against Super Saiyan 4, um, Super Saiyan 4 Gohan Justice. Ultima Gohan, and it's not too bad, but at this rate, we are definitely going to be, like, beating, well, taking at least four and a half minutes for each event. Maybe a bit more, a bit less, depending on who we take on next. Definitely going to avoid a super attack there. But here we go. RNG, please come in clutch. Gogeta, please get that additional attack to go off. He's getting additional. Come on. Even if... No, no, don't make it a normal. That legit did not take out that much health. We are going to be here for at least the ninth minute. I definitely feel like we are going to take at least two more turns. And this particular event, which means that it's taken us an average of four and a half minutes to take it out. And of course, he doesn't even counter. Of course. The one time that he doesn't counter. Come on, bro. Come on. Okay, maybe just over the nine minute mark. Depends on how unlucky we get. Yeah, I have no choice but to put him there. And again, there's no point in super attacking with the go tanks. So I'm going to grab the physical orb. Come on. Okay, maybe just over nine minutes. This is actually, like, kind of frustrating because I just spent so much time on some of the earlier stages against Ultima Gohan. It's just like, okay, then. Gotenks could have come, uh, you know, come in clutch with the potential system buffs, but it just did not happen. But at the very least, we are taking the majority of the hits here. And no super attack just yet, but, he, you know, he, but it's just the game, the way that the game works. He's going to super attack Super Saiyan for Gotenks. And, yeah, it's going to come up to the nine and a half minute mark, I reckon. He gets the additional and the crit. It's a shame that wasn't a super attack. Why couldn't he get that earlier? Yeah, definitely going to be just below the nine and a half minute mark. If not, like, right on the dot. Come on. This is why it kind of sucks not having two end types on this team. Unless you have uh, Pandel, of course. Okay, he didn't super attack. You should be able to take him out before the nine and a half minute mark. And here we go. Can we take him out? And we do. So, 9 minutes and 21 seconds. You have got to be kidding me. Right. So, we're going to take on the next event. Haven't really decided on it yet. It's definitely not Janemba because I would legit have no chance. But I suppose you guys will find out in a few moments. Okay. So, now taking on the Omega Shenron event. And this is definitely going to be a tough one just because. And there it is. The old meme is back. Charge my phone. So, he's definitely um, definitely going to be a bit tougher just because he does have a bit more defense in comparison to the other events. But we have a pretty good starting rotation. Going to have to go ahead and put the Gogeta in the last slot, though, just because we don't want this rotation in particular. Let's start the time in three, two, one. Let's go. Wasting no time here. We have just about... Oh, my God. I almost messed up there. Oh, I almost, like, took my finger off. I was like, wait, I completely messed up. I almost did not super attack there with the Gogeta. But we are almost coming up to the 10-minute mark, which means that we have a total of less than five minutes left once we get to that point. Or well, if we get to the 10-minute mark, we'll have a total of 10, well, five minutes left. But the point is, these new events definitely are tough in comparison to the others, and they take way more time. Actually, to be fair, Super 17 surprisingly took a long time. And, of course, that comes down to the fact that he just does have that defensive barrier. And Gogeta should definitely take him out here. Again, pass that defense. And then the next stage is the agility, then STR, and physical. So, we're going to have a few problems here and there. But I'm hoping that, at the very least, we can take him out by the 15-minute mark. If we can't, I will be a bit disappointed. But I believe. I definitely do believe. And, of course, if you are still watching the video, I appreciate you guys. If you reach this point, put hashtag Omega Shenron in the comment section down below and let me know if you believe that i can take out this event with the time remaining here we go go Gogeta, what can you do it's a shame that i don't have more gt units because of course it would allow me to um that sounded very british <laughs> allow me to get past that or oh, this event in particular a bit faster but it doesn't seem like i will be able to of course come on go tanks can we see more magic from you that additional attack with the crit or just make the first super attack a crit and just additional there it is. There it is. Wow. Fair enough. Didn't expect that at all. Definitely. Yep. Anyway. Definitely not rigged. Wow. We actually got super lucky here. Because they could have demolished these rotations. To be fair. Still not great by any means. But I have to super attack with the Gotenks, which sucks. But I hope they 
you don't mess up with my rotations you know, next time round. Here we go. Start things off. Coming up on an 11 and a half minute mark. I'm actually feeling a bit more confident now. Like, Gotek is coming in clutch with that additional crit. Definitely made me feel a bit more confident. But if Gogeta could finally get an additional here, it would just make my day. Come on. Additional. Still no additional. This man just does not get those additional attacks to go off. Such a shame. Yeah, Fort so. It wasn't going to last too long before he messed with my rotations completely. It's not that bad. But, oh my god. I almost messed up there. Come on. Here we go. Super attack. Super Saiyan for Gogeta. And we can carry on. Even if he doesn't, I think Gotek should be able to take him out with his super attack. And to be fair, this stage, or this event in particular, hasn't taken as long as I thought it would. Um, Gotek, got any of them crits? Got any of them crits for me? There we go. Uh, 1.2 million. Now the last stage where Gogeta has a type disadvantage, but it does not matter because it's got... Wow. Of course he did. Of course he did. But you know what? Wasting no time here, and again, I almost messed up. Like, I swear, I think that I've slid them over, but then, okay, that was extremely dumb. I meant to use an Usher there, so I kind of just wasted a Senzi Bean here, but it's not, like, that bad, I suppose. Come on. I wasted a few seconds, but it's okay. As long as Gogeta finally gets an additional attack, it can be forgiven. It can definitely be forgiven. Come on. If Super Saiyan 4, not really expecting too much from him. I, mean, I, I expect big things from this man. Please. Just just do just do the thing. I didn't get all those leaps for nothing, did I? Thank you. Lowering attack twice and lowering his defense. That is what I want to see. Thank you for coming, Clutch. I think that we uh I think we may be able to start one more event after this at the very least. And I am gonna go ahead and just stick with this. Because the Go Tanks is gonna give a boost regardless to all of the units in the rotation. And we have a type advantage. Come on! Oh, it's just the attacks that I'm taking. That Super Attack 10 grind definitely was worth it, though. I swear that this background music sounds like something out of Mario. When you're, like, in the um, like final levels taking on Bowser, I believe his name is. Sorry if I completely butchered the name. Come on. Okay, Super Attack. Super Attack. Super Attack. Oh, dear. He's going to Super Attack Super Saiyan through Gotenks, isn't he? Gotenks, get a crit. Like your life depends on it. Come on. Oh, additional. No, that could have been it. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Oh my god, I almost messed up there. I just grabbed the single or I was like, wait, I messed up. Never mind. Okay, so we are gonna have enough time to at the very least start one more event. Even before Gotex has managed to take him out somehow. He should. But oh, that was close. Okay. 14 minutes and 11 seconds. I think I was too late to stop it, but it's either 40 minutes, 11 seconds, or 40 minutes, 10 seconds, but it's around the same time. Um, gonna try to start another event and just see how that goes. Okay, so now taking on the Super Gogeta event and believing came a long way for us. We managed to take out Omega Shenron and we have an additional 50 seconds left. I decided to take on Super Saiyan Lukai again just because we do have a type advantage for the most part, even if it's just neutral typing. Um, we don't have the type disadvantage with our main units, but let's go ahead and get started with the time in three, two, one, let's go. So a step further than I thought I would have been. I thought that Omega Shenron definitely would have been at a point where we kind of had to stop or we've only had like 10 seconds or so left. But Gogeta should be able to take him out of here, no problems. Of course, these events don't have as much health and defense as some of the newer ones. And there we go. So 30 seconds. I think the main problem is definitely going to be the Super Attack animations. And just the length of them. But I've come far. I am happy with the progress that I made. We are down to 20 seconds. Fucking at the very least. Get to the um, second to last stage. I would be happy. But Gogeta does have a very long super attack animation. So you may not get to that point. But yeah. I hope you guys did enjoy the video as always. And if you did. Don't forget to leave a like. And subscribe for more. I am definitely excited to share some of the things that I have coming up with you guys. Just working on so many different things. And I honestly just can't wait to see how you guys react to them. Yeah, as always, hope you have a lovely day, and I will see you all in the next one.